on the farm at the Englefield Estate, we are busy throughout the year with different activities. We grow arable crops and we also raise Hereford cows. The farming year really begins in the autumn. From September, fields are prepared for crops by ploughing or cultivating the soil. Once they are ready, each field is sown with a different crop. We plant winter wheat, winter barley and winter oilseed rape seeds. This is called drilling the crop. Some fields don't need to be ploughed or cultivated before crop seeds are sown. This is called direct drilling. Other fields are left alone over the winter. These are called stubble fields and they provide areas for farmland birds such as grey partridge and skylarks to feed in the winter time. The winter crops begin to grow before the weather gets really cold. When the ground gets muddy and wet, usually around the beginning of December, our Hereford cows are brought in from the fields to live in the cow shed. They have plenty of food and are sheltered from the wind and rain. During the winter and early spring, we make sure that hedgerows, fences and buildings are maintained. And in the springtime, we drill spring barley. Our cows have their calves in the springtime too. They're born between February and April. The calves live with their mothers, drinking their milk until they are old enough to eat grass. As the weather gets warmer in the spring, we start to put the cows out in the field during the day and bring them back in at night. In April, they go out in the fields for the day and night. When they're about two years old, our cattle are either sold as breeding stock or as store cattle, which will continue to gain weight until they are ready to be sold for beef. In the early summer, we spray crops to control the number of weeds and pests. In the summer, we also cut grass to make silage and hay. Silage is grass that's cut and stored in a covered area. The grass ferments and remains damp. Sheep and cows eat silage in the winter. Hay is dried grass that's stored in bales for the winter. Sheep, cows and horses eat hay. Starting towards the end of July, harvest begins. Combine harvesters cut the crop and separate the seeds from the stalks. Corn carts drive alongside the combine harvester, collecting all the seeds. Oilseed rape is usually harvested first, followed by wheat and barley. The weather is very important for harvesting. If the weather is dry, the farmers work all day and into the night to harvest the crops as quickly as possible. The oil seeds are used to make vegetable oil and animal feed. The wheat is used to make flour and the barley for making beer, granary bread and animal feed. The straw left over from harvesting crops is baled up and stored. This is used as bedding for our Hereford cows during the winter. Farmers celebrate the end of harvest, but we don't get much rest before the work begins all over again. For more information and activities, you can visit our website at www.englefieldestate.co.uk forward slash community forward slash outreach. Thanks for watching.